What's up, Guardians? Ickers here, and welcome back to the modern life of Stanley. Holy freaking crap, I'm super fast right now. Holy shit, the, what the, what the, what the? You run really fast in the office. I never even noticed that. Wow. Anyways, that aside. Uh, we've been playing in so much Penumbra lately that I kind of decided it's time to take gone. a little break. What could it mean? Stanley decided to Don't go worry. to the meeting room. Don't worry. Perhaps he'll be some up later, but memo. right now, we're just gonna enjoy this. Obviously, I'm talking over the narrator right now because he's a stupid face and he keeps talking about the same stuff over and over. So shut your mouth. This is actually probably gonna come to a close. When Stanley enough. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nope, this sorry. This was not the right. correct way to the I'm meeting right -minded. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Right-minded, left-handed. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, no. just to admire. I'm it. not left-handed, but you know, you know how the <sighs> saying goes. Yes, truly a room worth. You are a different hand than the side business, of your brain. Stanley took the first open door on his left. So what have I done yet? I don't even know. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Did I go down there? I don't even remember. See, I'm just getting inside my own head. I don't even remember where the frick I've been. If I go back this way, what happens? Nothing. It's freaking blocked. You jerk face, stop blocking stuff. Yet there was not a single yeah, person yeah, here Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just trying to power through to find a new part disbelief. because screw Stanley your face. decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Going down. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's back here again? But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of remember. facing his boss, admitting he had Is left his loop? post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? How All because he looping? believed. Damn it. What the frick, game? I restarted on my own. What? What? What the frick is this crap? What is all this? Mind tell me about this narrator? How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Finally. This is great, he thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I wanted. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah. That that's fine and dandy and all, but that's not what I wanna know. I wanna know why there's papers all over the frickin' place. Anyways, I restarted because I don't want to force you guys through going off and seeing another ending that we've already seen. Actually, now I'm curious as to what happens if I restart the game again. What are you going to do to me? What's it going to look like? Nothing. Papers are all cleaned up. Okay. How wonderful. Stanley was alone. Was that Finally. just a fluke or... This is great, he or thought to himself. This is what I've wanted all along. I got what I was wanted. Was that not supposed to happen? Or was it supposed to happen? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh, right. This was Thank not you. the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop uh, by the employee lounge first, things that we haven't just done. to admire it. That's kind of complicated after a wow. little while. Yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Gonna go straight through. Oh look, there's the midget desk. Stanley was so bad at following directions, here's the lift. it's incredible he wasn't. Oh yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. We didn't take the lift all the way last time. Look, I Stanley, just I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Wow. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm that actually people. might be an ending. I realize down there. that investing wow. your trust in someone else can be huh. difficult, but the fact yeah. is that the story uh. has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh, I haven't forgotten about you. Stop trying Don't to make me every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her. Who's her? This is it, Stanley. I have a her. Your chance to redeem yourself. No! To put your let me go. work aside. To let the same her room as back room over into there. your life. What the frick? She's been waiting. If 
by she you mean you because I know you've been waiting freaking ever for me to follow your story but I won't do it man I won't do it it's freaking black in here oh that's her standing you need to be the one to do this why you're right there you're talking to me Bye. hello it's freaking bright can you just say hello without giving me this weird flashback of brightness Ow. Is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pouring the flat out of the oven. I really like the number 427, oh, don't I? Right. Okay, there we go. All right, now. I want you to come in and tell me all about it. You're down. Whoa! <laughs> I'm out. Gotcha. Wait, I can't move. Oh, come on. I can't move. On. I can't move. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Skip Who wanted to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying so. to get you to see something. No, Come inside. I don't wanna. Let me show you what's really wanna. going on here. <laughs> Run away. Oh. Sorry, but you're in my what story now. What the frick? This guy's like super sadistic. What if I don't go inside? Huh? What if I click on the other doors? What if I click on the brick wall? What if I knock it down? Bring down this wall! It doesn't work. But yeah, not only do we work in office complex where we are listed by numbers, we also live in those exact same numbers in an apartment complex. Yay! Well, I'm gonna just walk in here then. This is a Hi. very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Is my wife gonna murder me? Good morning, employee 427. Press K on your keyboard. I know it's around here somewhere. I don't want to look at me. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. What? He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential ah, nature TV. of his existence. Actually, they have a very nice TV. Press V. Where's V? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a Let button. Let me in there, now and I'll kick your butt. he's eating lunch. Now because he's Because I'll be doing home. service, people. Now he's coming back to work. Yeah. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Sounds like real life. Like all the time. Freaking eats all the way over but there. in his mind, ah, to do? in his mind, he can go on fantastic ah! adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the yeah. unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful, and Can't each day that now, he returned to work it's was a head. reminder that none it's of it would right ever now. happen to him. Seven to watch TV. <gasps> I want to watch TV. Where's the TV? And so he began to frick? fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped uh, up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought Am I going to get locked in terribly. by a bunch of office supplies and stuff? So he went further. Watch he imagined that he what? came to two open doors and that he could go through either. Watch the voice. Last, Choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind What's each on the door. Bed, Alvin? The mere thought Holy crap, you're that his annoying. decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Yeah. So freaking awesome. As he wandered through this fantasy hey! world, he began to fill it with all over my floor? paths and destinations. Huh? Down one path lay an I enormous round room with hands. monitors Whoosh. and mind controls. There. And down another Pray was like a that. yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. He's talking about all the other games. Tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I don't freaking love you! Let, let, let's have that sink in for a minute here. I don't, I don't freaking love you. But there is no answer. Oh. How could I guess that was her response be? to it. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons, buttons he always buttons, buttons, has. Buttons, buttons, Nothing buttons, has changed. Buttons, buttons, buttons. The longer Four, he two, spends seven. here, the more Four, two, invested seven. he gets. The more he forgets four, two, seven, which four, two, seven, life is the four, real four, two, seven, one. Jay? But I don't want to go to sleep, sir. If I go to sleep, I go to sleep forever. And I'm trying to tell him this. 
that in this world he can never Whoa. be anything Wait, where'd that yellow freaking box come but from? Was that there all the time? Here, he's slowly killing himself. But Yay. he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm gonna do it just to be a jackass. I'm not pressing it. What you got to say to that? Huh, punk ass? Hello? Are you just gonna leave me to my thoughts? Um. This is awkward. You can't just tell me not to press a button and then I don't press a button and then you don't respond to me. You, this isn't how it works. Talk to me! Are you really gonna force me to press the button? I'm, I'm willing to not press the button and you're making me push the button. Motherfricker, answer me! I will slap you! I'm sorry, Cabinet. I did not mean it. You are a good kitty. Good kitty. God damn it, are you really gonna do this to me? I can't stall forever. You hear that? It's about to kick up. Where press the button? I don't know. I don't know. You see? Can he just not hear me? I knew it. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he <coughs> remains here, he's uh, electing he to may kill speak himself? Loudly. Asshole! How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? By speaking up! E to question nothing? I, I question I suppose nothing? I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play yes, to my do. intended purpose. Jerk. The same as Stanley. If I don't listen to you, not so different, you I suppose. end up killing me off. I'll try once more to convey If I do listen to you, I'm compelled you end up to. killing me off. This Perhaps, is your game. Well, totally to play. Maybe this time you'll see. Maybe Jerk. this time. And I tried the again. Thing ever. And Stanley pushed Please a button. Die? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Okay, I just clicked the left mouse button and it just killed me. That was very weird. I'm gonna go jump off the freaking uh, lift for a second here. All of his co-workers were gone. I think that's like what the last thing mean? that you could possibly do. Stanley decided so, to go to the meeting. Why not do it? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Freaking door 420. I'm gonna miss you, man. Freaking. Picture and of a Stanley vector came plant. to a set of two open. Too. This was not the correct way Man, to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted We're to speed stop by the employee okay. lounge first, just to admire Jerk. it. The lounge was sublime, I like how that a work of art. That, that line, eager of to get back to business, was like the Stanley only thing. took the first open door. Oh boy, you're left. doing it to me again! Shut your mouth! Oh. God, he has this weird power. It makes Stanley me yawn. was so bad at following directions. Not that it's not that he's like completely he boring. Five years ago. You know what? We're gonna add an insult to injury. We're just gonna completely miss the lift. Goodbye. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yeah. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Indeed. Hey, cut him off. You don't just cut a man off in the middle of a sentence. And then the cycle continues forever and forever and forever and forever and forever. I'm pretty sure I missed some endings, but I'm going to end the Stanley Parable here, Guardians. Thank you so much for watching. And if you watch all the way through on every episode, thank you so much for that. But if you've enjoyed, claw that like button across the face. It's been calling us all sorts of names. I am sure that I missed a few endings. But, whatever, that just leaves something for you to explore, right? Right. So, that being said, I will see all of you on the battlefield. Later! <laughs>